We've been breaking all the rules today when it comes to your health, and right now we're going to discuss the so-called hall pass or free pass. Dr. Wendy, in a relationship? Well, you know, every relationship has their own rules and their own sets of boundaries, so we thought we'd explore what would work for us. And joining us today to discuss and explore this hall pass in varying degrees is Trey and Yuleen. Thank you for joining us. Now, these guys have been together for about a year and a half. <laughs> ready to talk about where the boundaries are in your relationship. And let's start with what I call the first degree of hall pass. I think we'd all agree the first degree of hall pass is, would you allow your partner to have a girls or guys night out? Absolutely. Yes, yeah. you have okay. to. Mm -hmm. yeah. your, your relationship isn't going to work unless that's part of the deal. She goes out with her friends, I'm talking about my wife, right. who I've been married to for 26 years. I go to an all men's golf club. She's happy She's when happy I do that. You off. She's been off to Paris with her girlfriends. I do. You have nice. to be able to do you that. You have to have yeah. some nice. trust. Some yeah. trust there. Yeah. And what, uh, that hall pass works for you guys? Yeah, I, I definitely. I'll pay for the ticket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the next level, would you allow your spouse to go to Vegas for a weekend? What do you think? I I wouldn't have a problem with it. I think we've actually done that, been to Vegas separately. Separately? And, um, it was, everything was fine. And everybody trusts everybody I think that's here. a good thing right. and a healthy thing. I think the biggest danger in Vegas is, honey, we spent the mortgage payment. Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the next degree of hall pass, degree number three. Uh, would you allow your spouse a drunken kiss? Now, say nothing, because we asked Trey and Yulene this separately before. Let's take a look at what they said. Uh-oh. You can't let a kiss, especially if, if alcohol was involved, bring down, um, you know, a year or years of, of, of what you build, you know, as a couple. I would probably forgive him within a couple days. Oh my gosh, if I saw Trey kissing a girl and it wasn't something I just heard about. It was like a long, passionate kiss, you know, kind of like Drake down, bending over and just going at it for, for longer than, than five seconds. We might have some issues. We might have some problems. <laughs> <laughs> Guilty. No. Why? But my, it's never been with somebody my wife doesn't know. So in other words, <laughs> it's like a, it's a mutual it's okay. friend. That seems it's worse. Wait a it's second. Drew, Drew gets well, super affectionate he when he's drunk. It's yeah. I love you, man. How about a kiss? Uh, <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a second, is this a double standard? Because how would you feel if your wife kissed another guy? Uh, <laughs> it is a double standard. She's, well, a, a With little bit. I probably wouldn't, I wouldn't okay. like it too much, probably. What do you mean, probably? Well, it's never really happened. It I does, do you if it so? did. It does amaze me what he gets away with, though. I guess His wife right. will be right here, and, and Drew will reach over and do the whole Bend her <laughs> literally over and give her a big smooch. And, and Robin goes, Oh, that's Drew. I You're would, in trouble. I would kill you. But, <laughs> I would 